Hello and welcome to the Apostolic Resource Center. This is Lisa Great coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee. I was on earlier this week and I did a video called No Lag Time. The Lord spoke to me and said that there was going to be no more lag time and he showed me that out of John chapter 4. So I got on here and I made that declaration that there would be no more lag time. Little did I know <laughs> that that was going to become a reality for someone in my family. I just got a message on Thursday from my mom who told, she lives up in Minnesota, and she told me that she was putting her lake house on the market. And I was so excited for her, and I've been talking her through this and helping her get everything organized because she's in her early 70s. And we were able to agree that it was time to do this for her. So she got everything done for the house to make it market ready, had a realtor aligned and everything established. No sign was in the yard yet. And then on Thursday morning, the Lord spoke to me and told me to go up to a specific mountain here in the Nashville area and make a decree over a church called Hope You See. And he told me, I want you to decree Jubilee over Hope You See. And so he sent me to their property. He said, go to the Hope You See property and make this decree Jubilee. But it wasn't just any Jubilee. It was a Jubilee that had a threefold um, decree that went with it. Debt cancellation, land restoration, and glory manifestation. So I went to Hope You See profit property here in the Nashville area. And I climbed up uh, what is called a prayer mountain that the pastor had told me about that was on the back of the property. So I climbed up the, the prayer mountain. And when I got to the top, the presence of God was in that place. And I began to decree with my, with my voice and with my shofar, hope you see Jubilee. Hope you see Jubilee. Debt cancellation, land restoration, glory manifestation. Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee. I must have been up there 15, 20 minutes making this decree, releasing the sound of the shofar, opening my mouth and shouting and decreeing what God told me to decree over hope you see on their property. I, I was getting ready to be done and I was about to descend the mountain and the Lord was like, go back and say it again. So I went back and I said it again and again and again. And at one point I said, hope you see and me jubilee i decree uh debt cancellation land restoration glory manifestation and i added me to the conversation and as i began to decree it and as i began to say it i could hear a sound coming out of my belly that i had never heard before come out of myself and i it was almost like a almost like a groaning siren type sound i can't even repeat it because it was completely a spirit-led sound and I was making this decree up there and releasing this sound and blowing the shofar. And then all the way down the mountain, this sound kept coming out of me in a rhythmic pattern. It kept coming out of me and coming out of me and coming out of me. And all the way till I got to my van parked on the far end of the property where I had began the trek. All of a sudden the sound stopped and the Lord said, okay, you're done. And I got in the car and I was like, all I know is that that was a significant experience. I didn't know that the no lag time and this hope you see decree jubilee was going to merge and converge into, into a testimony for someone in my family. So now it's Thursday afternoon. This was Thursday morning that I went to the prayer mountain and made this decree. I'm driving home that afternoon after this experience and my mom calls and she says, I want to send you the link to the listing. We put the house on a coming soon notice that we will have this cabin will be coming soon. So she sent me the link and I went home and looked at it. That next morning, she sends me a message and says that her realtor received a cash, cash buyer. No need to look at it. No inspection needed. Uh, no loans to be concerned about, no banks involved, no appraisals, nothing. And she was selling this house, 1,800 square foot cabin on a lake for $440,000.
And she calls me on Friday morning and she's like, is this too good to be true? And so we ended up talking through it and talking through some details. And I told her, I said, mom, this is the blessing and the power of God. And I told her I was on the prayer mountain. I told her what the Lord told me to decree for hope you, you see. And I told her the whole story of um, what I was up there decreeing for hope you see and me and how she is in my bloodline. Even though she's above me as my mom or my son who's below me as my, my son in age. I don't mean hierarchy, but I mean in age. I said, you're in the bloodline, mom. This is the power of God. And my mom, who has never really talked like this, she said, I believe in the power of God. Oh, my heart was just exploding with joy. So this was Friday morning. Friday afternoon, she's conversing with her realtor. By Friday night, they make an offer to pay cash, full price, $440,000. And they send the offer to my mom. The house is not even on the market yet. The, she has people calling, wanting showings in, in, the, in the upcoming week, this coming Thursday of the week coming that we're in right now. And, and she's just like, I don't know what to do. My head's spinning. All these people are interested. Is it too good to be true? And I said, Mom, this is the blessing of God. Take the cash offer. You know how many people would give anything for a cash offer? No red tape with a bank. No red tape with a loan. No red tape with an inspection or appraisal. Take it, Mom. So her and her realtor on um, Saturday morning, she said, well, let me think about it overnight. So she called her realtor back Saturday morning and said, if they'll give $10,000 earnest money down, I'll accept their offer. And she goes, was that the right thing to do? And I go, yes, they're not going to pay $10,000 to see your cabin. I mean, it's only 1,800 feet. It's going to take them 10 minutes to look at the whole thing. So we were laughing and joking. And she's like, you're right, you're right. And so we started talking by Saturday night. Last night, it's Sunday morning right now. By last night, she got the paperwork in her hand. The buyer signed it. She signed it last night. They're closing on July 30th. In less than 17 hours from putting it on um, the internet as a coming soon property to Saturday night, <laughs> she got a cash offer with a contract um, that's already been signed for $440,000, which is the asking price, and it's closing on the 30th. My God, today, I wanted to testify to you, no lag time. And I want to decree not only over Hope UC, which has multiple campuses around the world, which is who God told me to go and pray for on the property in Nashville, but I want to decree over you, Jubilee, 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 debt cancellation, land restoration, glory manifestation. I decree and I declare Jubilee over hope you see, over me and over every one of you. We decree hope you, see. I mean, we decree Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee. In the name of Jesus, get ready, my friends. You're about to see debt cancellation, uh, land restoration, and glory manifestation. There is no more lag time. I decree it and I declare it. And I want to read this verse over you. Amos chapter 9, verses 11 to 13 in the message translation. I'm sorry, 13 to 15 in the message translation. Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will happen at once. And everywhere you look, blessings, blessings, blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. I will make everything right again for my people Israel. We will rebuild ruined cities. We will plant vineyards and drink good wine. We will work gardens and eat fresh vegetables. We'll plant them on their own land and never again will they be uprooted from the land he's given them. We decree jubilee, debt cancellation, land restoration, and glory manifestation. I decree this over you. I decree this over hope you see. And I decree this over me. Jubilee, jubilee, 
Jubilee. In Jesus' name, amen.